Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a specific rare laptop. These ones are the uh, Warago or Warake, Warago I believe Alpha laptops. This one, the specific one is an uh, Warago Alpha N3060 laptop and these brands are rare to find but they are still circulating. So Warago. 14 inch, the model is an Alpha N3060, the N3060 is for Intel Celeron N3060. So that's why they just grabbed the Intel brand and just put the model on it. So they didn't even bother making their own proper model. And this video based on the request you guys giving me that you want to bump up the RAM, I made a video how to bump up the RAM on this one up to 8 gig. Check my other video if you would like. Um, but in this video, I'm going to tell you how you can boost up the performance on this one. By, boost, by putting more RAM is not performance exactly. But if you want a real performance, change the mechanical hard drive that they come in here to an external uh, to an SSD solid state drive. That will increase the performance humongously, especially for this uh, processor, which are really slow. All right. To do this, first you'll need a solid state drive. You can get Crucial brands which are really good or Samsung brand which are awesome. Or if you want to get something cheap, go with an Adeta or Kingston brand. They're not that reliable, but they're still better than the mechanical drive that you have. All right, with all that said, the tools that you're going to be needing is an iFixit screwdriver set or any screwdriver set. I prefer this one because the bits are made out of S2 class steel. That means they're really tough and steel. All right, we're gonna grab Phillips number one from this screwdriver set. And next, you wanna grab yourself an opening tool. You can get the pro version, I'll leave the link in my video description, or you can grab yourself a guitar pick. The pro version will give you opening tools and many other stuff. But if you are in a low budget, grab at least a screwdriver and get yourself a, a guitar pick. These are really suitable to opening covers and everything else. All right, with these two on hand and the drive ready, we're gonna power off the laptop and on the bottom cover, we're gonna remove all the screws. There should be a screw under one of the stickers, warranty sticker, so you have to puncture through that. And they, or maybe somewhere over here, sometimes I've seen them that this label is moving around, so there should be one, two, three, four screws in the middle area. All right, so go start from one corner and remove the screws. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Just take your time and remove all the screws and double check, make sure you didn't miss any. Also, if you guys like my channel and it's helping you guys out, and if you have any question or request, you can leave them in a video comment. And in return, if you wanna support the channel, you can support the channel by clicking like and subscribing to the channel. All right, we remove all the screws, and this screw I'm gonna remove it with a magnet because of this label thing in here. All right, once you remove all the screws, this is very important. You do not want to open up from the side that you have the audio uh, jack or microphone jack here. You don't want to touch this area. You want to start from the front end of the laptop. You want to stick the guitar pick or the opening tool in the front between the top and the bottom cover, just like that. Okay, now you just want to switch it, uh, rotate it, just spin it towards the outside, just like that, and you're going to see it, bottom case coming up. Go towards the USB 3 side and go towards the back corner, towards the jack, and we're going to do the back end here, and right at the back, try to squeeze this one somehow with a little bit of force in there between top cover, and you just want to rotate and it's gonna start opening up. So you wanna do this all around here on the back. Then once you open the back side too, you wanna to put it face down. You wanna grab from the VGA side and the USB 3 port side upward, bring it up, and then you wanna push it towards the audio jack. Make sure you slide it towards the audio jack so you can escape this uh, grips right here. Once you escape it, just lift it up. This is a face plate for a dummy DVD drive, so you can just place it on top. Just put a little whatever you want. And down here, you can put a DVD drive because the contact it is available and the components, so you can just place a DVD drive. 
just for the faceplate of the DVD drive, you will not be able to use this faceplate because it's not actually made for the uh, caddies. So it's just gonna look like a bare bone DVD drive, but at least it will work. All right. And the hard drive, you're gonna see it right over here. The hard drive is not being sustained with anything, so there's no screws or anything. You have a little plastic on top and a sponge right here. There is no actual caddy here. So all you need to do is just, you don't need to remove the battery to do this process, but if you wanna be paranoid, you could remove the battery by removing one screw right there and the second one right on here. So remove these two screws and slide out the battery upward. And there you have it. You can actually remove it or just leave it there. These are three cell batteries. Those are the 18650 18, batteries. Anyway, the hard drive is right here. To remove the hard drive, you want to lift up the back end of the hard drive it's slowly, just gently, like a little bit, about 30 degrees, and then it's pull it back so you can disconnect the connector right there. This hard drive has one screw here and one screw in on the top. I don't know, is to hold this plastic in here. You don't actually need it, just forget about it. Just grab this hard drive, put it one side, grab the SSD drive, make sure the connector matches the connect uh, the jack right there so the small portion the SATA is right there the power adapter is in, on the other side so the bigger adapter and the short one so you want to bring it in 45 degree towards the adapter push it all the way in and then sit it towards the palm rest and there we have it you don't need to put any foam or anything on top but if you want to you could just do this i guess Remove the screw from here and remove the screw on the other side if yours is not wrapped. Put it on top here and screw this one right on top. It's just like that. The foam is there to just pressure over the bottom cover so the hard drive is not moving around. But this is a solid state drive, it's not gonna go anywhere and nothing's gonna happen to it. All right, once you put the hard drive in there, the Next step would be to just grab the battery, bring it over and push it towards the jack and place the two screws that you removed. All right, once you have the screws in there, just remember, I'm um, just uh, bring the top cover and first you wanna scoop down the uh, audio jack in here. So you wanna scoop it in, just bring it offset position and scoop it right underneath, grab it and push down the top cover and pinch the top and the bottom all together. Also remember, um, by removing the hard drive, placing new hard drive in here, you're not gonna have any operating system installed in the laptop. I made a video how to create your own Windows 10 USB boot drive. Check that link on my video description to create your own Windows 10 boot drive. And also I'll make a video on this one, how to boot up from the U Windows 10 boot drive in here and how to install the Windows. All right. So once we have the bottom cover in, and the last part should be really easy, just grab the bottom screws and slam it all over the bottom case. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys to do your own upgrade or replacement. If you guys have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I always try to answer them as soon as I can. You guys want to support the channel, you can support it by clicking like and subscribing. And as always, Thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video. I'm just going to finish up putting up the bottom screws and we should be set to go.